POV. You're scrolling through Tumblr instead of facing your problems like a normal human being. You watch your mouth. Would you guys like to see the most unique, rare, and blessed photo I've ever taken? It's his day now. Beautiful. If the CIA believed we could go to alternate realities, we would have invaded one of them by now. You joke, but that's honestly entirely true. A CIA-backed coup of fairyland. We are being going to shift to the oil dimension. I mean, to be fair, I'm fairly certain they've tried. I'm what you would consider, I could look it up, but it's more fun asking friends, gang. Uh, yeah. Has it been canonically determined if the Kool-Aid man is the pitcher or the juice yet? According to Wikipedia, canonically, he is the pitcher. He is traditionally filled with tropical punch Kool-Aid, but originally was filled with cherry Kool-Aid. However, he does appear to have some kind of magical effect on liquids, as the Kool-Aid stored inside him is more refreshing and hydrating than normal Kool-Aid, and his tears can apparently cause the dead to reincarnate. Man, Kool-Aid lore is deep. Oh wait, that's sort of mine. What if the reason the creators of Monsters, Inc. waited 12 years to make Monsters University was because kids who watched Monsters, Inc. of the ages 5, 6, and 7 years are now 17, 18, and 19 and off to college? The same goes to Toy Story 3 and how Andy was giving up his toys, his childhood, and moving on off to college as well. What if they wanted to say goodbye to the child that loved their movies properly? I, I think they're onto something here. I'm in a really bad media diversity class, where the professor was trying to make a point to us about stereotypes, so he was like, When you think of Frankenstein, you probably think of a big green monster, right? And then when everyone in class was immediately like, No, it's the scientist, he pretended he didn't hear us. Well, millennial culture is knowing that Frankenstein is the scientist. So, have you fallen in love with me yet, or do I need to post more nonsense? <laughs> God nerfed me by making me allergic to garlic and sunlight. So, a vampire? I can confirm that I am not a vampire, as I have blood. Is it your blood? It is blood, yes. Is it blood that's always belonged to you from the moment of your spawning? It is blood. It is in my possession. Therefore, it is my blood. I do not like this interrogation. Please stop. Oh my god, how do you come up with this stuff? Well, I've been plagued by visions since birth. OP, that's called having eyes. My name isn't OP, it's Monty, and I bet God hasn't even spoken to you once. If you're over 5 foot 11, sorry, your pronouns are fee, fi, fo, and fum. Listen here, you little shit! If you're under 5 foot 11, sorry, your pronouns are oompa, loompa, doopity, and do. Nah, you look a little too young to drive there, kiddo. Shh, you work the gas, human, I'll do the steering. I thought about my fake little people for a bit too long. Now I have illnesses of the brain. <sighs> Same. Oh, well, conveniently wrapped packages of bananas. If only bananas had robust, natural, biodegradable packaging of their own. Some sort of peelable skin, perhaps. Ah, oh, it's just a pipe dream, though. Tumblr isn't social media. It's a habit. Like smoking. We're all gathering by the dumpster in the cold, reblogging posts. I want to run away. But like in Ghibli movies... Like I take a block of cheese, a loaf of bread, and some apples and wander through the flowered speckle mountains wrapped up in a shawl, and I happen to wander into a moving castle and fall in love with a cute wizard. Me deep in the woods dragging a duffel bag of craft singles and hopelessly lost. Where's Totoro? Fish want me. Women fear me. Men fear me. Everyone fears me, for I am a menace to society. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be on the lookout for the Big Bird Bandits. Two men arrested and charged after alleged Sesame Street. All right, which one of you fucking kidnapped Big Bird? I know it was fucking one of 